hey guys welcome back to the channel second video of the day i have been planning to do this for a long time for some reason i just never ended up doing it this video actually would be a sort of like a let's update video from uh, my prada and the duo review uh, i told you like i might do a comparison video i think uh, james from j royal he is the only one so far i have seen doing the comparison because to me also they smell quite alike so we'll be putting up today i uh, from my collection uh prada Lome versus diorome o okay these two from two different companies but they smell very very similar so you'll see which one actually is more worthy looking at which one is more favorable from my side and uh, which one wins basically a battle is just for fun purpose so i'll just let you know like factual you know like what are the facts so uh today i am it's now about 3 p.m very hot and humid but i'm inside the room been a very busy day i cleaned up all my bottles because they have been collecting dust for months and trust me my room is always locked but i don't know where the dust comes from i guess it's the through the ac and everything got so much dust god i got sick of it so i cleaned up the whole house i mean not the house my room i took out a bunch of boxes and stuff so threw out a lot of stuff so i'm feeling a bit tired so but i'm enjoying after shower uh, montel's i think it's called intense cafe I'll be reviewing this soon. This is just one spray. It's very uh, like nuclear projector kind of a fragrance. Okay, so I'm enjoying that. Yeah, when I move, I can actually get like you know like the smell of it. It's very very intense. So that's the scent of the afternoon. So let's get into the Dior and Prada. Uh, first of all, one of these fragrances is a original release. It's an original release. Other one is a flanker. So if you do not know by now, Dior actually has a line called Dior Um. This is a part of the Um line and I have a miniature here. I think it's 15 ml or so. I don't know. Forgot exactly how much it was. I think 10 ml, sorry. Yeah. And it's like a dapstick sort of sample, but they give you like sort of very nice bottle. And I really like it. It looks exactly like the original bottle, but it's just smaller. So if you know uh, the Dior Um bottles, the bigger one's gonna look like that. So I'm gonna, when I'm gonna compare the presentation like bottle and everything i'm gonna compare with my Dior Homme intense bottle okay so this is actually a uh, flanker of Dior Homme okay Dior Homme has a lot of other flankers like Dior Homme intense Dior Homme parfum Dior Homme cologne Dior Homme sport so on and so forth and prada this is actually uh, like has been a couple of years now this is uh, prada's one of their different lines called prada Lome. so they have now prada Lome intense prada Lome lu and they have Prada Lome. I think there's one more out. I'm not quite sure, but I haven't tried that one yet. So yeah, so their bottles, if you see side by side, I think uh, if you see, it's like beauty is the you know eye of the beholder. But if you see side by side, none of them are bad. Uh, Prada one has this nice sort of grip here. And in Dior bottles, they're like much more classy actually, to be honest, if you ask me which one I like more, obviously I'm gonna prefer the Dior bottles because they look much more a uh, little bit more upscale Prada is not no like like an ordinary you know presentation but it's a comparison between these two I think I'll pick up the Dior um Ow bottle okay this one's bigger bottle so that's the bottle presentation so if you ask me uh, I actually written down on the table which one got more points and I'll let you know the winner <clears throat> so bottle design goes to Dior first second is the price how much do they cost okay we'll talk about 100 ml versus 100 ml uh first of all diorum o is very hard to find i think it's discontinued i could be wrong but very hard to find so the prices are kind of like at the higher side you are looking to pay i think 90 to 100 something dollars to get a 100 ml of it while as prada is very available in the market you can score this 100 ml for 70 to 75 dollars if you look for a deal uh, if you're looking for retail that's a different story but uh, usually Prada can be had for much a little bit not much a little bit it's a $20 $25 cheaper price tag okay so Prada wins here for the price tag better pricing longevity wise okay both these fragrances uh, I will tell you these are not beast mode or monstrous perfumes right you know like these are like a sort of you know fresh summer slash spring kind of fragrances uh, but if you talk about longevity, uh, comparison between these two, I think the Prada lasts on me a little bit longer. Dior, I tried, I'm wearing it even in my hand sometimes for some time, just to reconfirm, but the Dior one does have good performance, but compared to the Prada, this gives me better longevity. So Prada wins here for longevity. Projection wise, 
uh, this is kind of like also they are both on the soft side they do not have that massive projection like other fresh fragrance like Versace Pura Homme you know some of the more piercing Dior Sauvage they don't have that sort of projection they're like mild projector but if you talk about projection wise which one projects a little bit more I would say Prada has a little bit more brightness so that's why it has that watery aspect I'll talk about the smell in a bit but Prada out of these two I think this one projects a little bit more so Prada already nailing kind of like in the one two I mean two categories already three categories already the Prada is winning so far okay now the most important part smell as you know smell is very subjective like somebody likes like a and somebody likes b it's very hard to tell but if you ask me out of these two let me describe a little bit how they smell when you smell them like for the first time you have no clue whatsoever they're gonna smell very identical to you trust me but on the opening burst whatever you're gonna get they're gonna change a little bit a lot actually on the dry down they're gonna go a little bit different direction they have their similarities but they also have the differences for instance Prada when it opens up it opens up very I would say a uh, little bit different it's kind of like a soapy clean fresh some people say do not get soapy I do get soapy it's like a fresh laundry you know just out of the laundry like you know like five star bar of a soap like you know Prada a lot of other Prada fragrance would be and it has this watery iris and some sort of florals in it so it's a very simplistic a fresh like a crunchy fresh like laundry kind of smell with a lot of uh, light florals and kind of like a watery sort of aspect so this one makes it like kind of like a very watery wet I don't want to say the wet <laughs> word but it smells like you know it's a little bit like moist it, it, it stays on your skin a little bit like it keeps you a little bit you know those fabrics you know you spray on the uh, fabric softener or you know make your fabric smell nice and you know that, that it gives you the extra freshness this one smells like that but in a good way on the other hand the Dior has a lot more emphasis on iris you know so this one doesn't uh, have those other watery aspect that you get also from Prada this one gets a little bit more sweeter on me it get a little bit more serious this one smells a little bit more formal than Prada Loam does to me this one you can suit it up you can also wear this for work but this one smells a little bit more uh, formal then this is a little bit more casual so if you talk about compared the smell this has a little bit more depth to it okay so personally I like them both but wearability factor which one I reach for more Prada okay uh, I will tell you that's just my personal preference people will, some people will definitely love the Dior one a lot more because it's a lot more sophisticated but to my nose Prada okay Prada Lom wins for the smell so I'll give Prada Lom like a 10 Durham O will get 9 out of 10 so very close actually you can pick up any of them no problem so compliments wise Prada Lom gets all the compliments this one has such fantastic safe DNA I mean it, it projects a little bit more also like longevity projection both categories this one for some reason just has better skin chemistry with me so this one will get you a little bit more compliments and uh, from the stuff I wore here it's not to say I wore it a lot but every time I wore it nobody actually noticed it so the last one value for money which one is more value for money uh, both of these if you look for I mean look at them despite this being a little bit more pricey Dior is Dior Dior always is a little bit more pricey it's top tier designer so if you are looking for a bottle presentation this one is top notch okay the sprayer on these are fantastic smell wise this is also amazing if you love the note of iris this is a clean iris it's better than to my nose Dior Sport even Dior O oh, those fragrances a little bit more citrusy this has a little bit more depth to it so it's a very beautiful summer fragrance make no mistake but if you have the problem of you know paying hundred dollars plus for this fragrance because it's hard to get you can easily hop on to Prada Lom which can be had 150 ml can be had for a little bit more price of than like you know price of Dior Homme O of 100 ml so you can have this like let's say um maybe a hundred dollars hundred ten dollars you can get Prada Lom 150 ml instead of 100 ml of Dior Homme O but if you're talking about collection which one you should get first if you're a collector I would go and hunt this one before because this is gonna get really rare to find soon and the price is gonna get jacked up like much more than what it is right now but overall winner as you can see so obvious which one won the most mark Prada Lom more available more versatile better performance less price tag and it's it gets noticed by people I have got positive 
uh, attention with this fragrance so i highly recommend prada loam you can check it out for summer days you can wear this also very versatile casual formal work gym it works okay so prada loam is today's winner so hopefully you enjoyed the episode and do let me know which one is your favorite and uh, hopefully you like the video have a very nice day guys and stay out of uh, harm's path if you're in bangladesh heat is unbelievable keep drinking water stay away from smoking coffee and ice drinks see you soon bye bye